This is lesson two in GeoGebra. So we're going to take a look at some of the, the toolbar items. First, the first toolbar item is, is, is the uh, arrow, and you'll be using that a lot. Next is grading points, and you'll notice that there's a drop-down menu for each one of these tool items. So let's create a new point, and you'll notice that all I have to do is click and it creates a new point. You'll also notice over here in the algebra window that it tells where the point is on the grid. In this case it's at 2.34 on the x-axis, 3.22 on the y-axis. The next tool is creating lines. So if we want to create a line through two points, First, we need to create the second point, so let's create point B, go back, create a point, so let's click on point A, it creates a line, and you'll notice the line can rotate around A, and if we click on point B, we've got a line through points A and B. You notice over here on the algebra window, We've got the coordinates for point B, and we also have the formula for line A. It's labeled line A. And if we go back to the move button, we can move the letter. Also notice that we can also move the points. And you'll notice when we move the points, what changes the coordinates? Can move point B up and down the line, can move it up and left and right. So let's look at the next tool. The next tool helps create perpendicular parallel lines are the two main things you'll be using, line bisectors. So if we want to create a perpendicular line to, remember this is line A, so we're going to click on line A, and we want the line to go through point A. Now we have a perpendicular line, line B. We can also create parallel lines. We want to create a parallel line. We want to create a parallel line to line B, and we want it to go through point B. Now lines B and C are parallel. Next is creating, the next tool is creating polygons. The next tool is creating circles and arcs. The next tool is creating angles, finding area and slope. The next tool is creating mirror objects in transition. The next is, the next tool can create things called sliders, insert text and images. And the last tool allows us to do many things like what we can do is we can drag the whole window around just to look at different parts of the window. Or we can zoom in. Or we can zoom out. So that's it for lesson number two right now.